Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our City Skylines playthrough on Redwood. Yes, welcome back to Redwood and our vanilla cities in City Skylines. And today we are going to be focusing, like I've said already, on building up this area, this expanded area that we expanded ready uh, for a lot of expansion over here. Now, can we buy another tile? We actually can. Now, I'm interested to see what sort of industries we have in these regions. Actually, very little over here. Pretty much nothing whatsoever. But I do really want this region, because if we're going to keep on expanding down the coast here, uh, it's really quite an important region to have. The other two that we'd like are these two here, but it's going to be a while before we can get those ones. So let's get that one. It does really expand the area for which we can build now, which is great. Um, and we're going to be expanding into this region here. But before we do that, the reason why I've bought this tile is because I really do want a, uh, a connection down here. Some way to get into here. Uh, but these are going to be a bit of a tricky situation over this way. It's going to have to be sort of a branching motorway. So I'm going to have to work that out, but you shall see the results in a second, guys, and uh, I will see you there. So here we are, guys, and it's a little bit ugly. I'm not going to lie. Our proposed solution that we have going on for us here is a little bit ugly. Just a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm honestly quite happy with this. Like, I know it takes up a lot of space. But so do real large infrastructure projects in real life, guys. Let me just check all the roads are going the right way. Yep. Good. And now instead of coming off here going for the pole, you come around this way and go for the pole. I guess a few of those guys are turning around as well. Uh, but yeah, you come down here for the pole or you go off that way. The pole? The toll. <laughs> this again, needless use, use of space, but... I think it fits quite well, and I love the look of this raised highway the whole way down here. Sort of cutting through, sort of the edge between our industrial zone and our farmland here, which is quite nice. And of course, it's going to bring us all the way over here to the largest roundabout the world has probably ever seen. Um, <laughs> down to here. The reason why I wanted this connection, though, guys was because we are going to build a pedestrian zone in here. And remember, if you do build a pedestrian zone, of course, there's one thing that you've got to have, and it's your pedestrian sort of... Um, your pedestrian utility buildings. Now, if we go into the pedestrian zone area, should have a look. And yeah, we need to zone the area first. But yeah, we need some of those big buildings because this is going to be a big area. And unlike our suburbia, it's going to be a big contrast, guys. It's going to be blocks. It's going to be all in blocks. So let's uh, let's zone out this region anyway to start with. Let's just bring all these roads this way. And then we'll choose a central road to go all the way through. Um which will be pretty cool. And I'm actually going to have, you know, a bit of space either side of that road. So, while we're here, let's start zoning out some old pedestrian roads. Got to do the zone first. I keep forgetting. Problem with pedestrian zones, guys. They do cost a lot of money. So, let's pause the game while we're at it. Oh, God. Bit of a, a bit of a lag there. Florence Pedestrian Area. Not too unhappy with that name. Uh, but we shall call it something better. We need to think of a name for this river as well, guys. So if you have a good name for this river and this estuary, let us know. I don't want to just keep calling everything red. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so what I'm thinking is... Yeah, we need... Construct port, small pedestrian area service point. Yeah, so what I was thinking is if they come close to the motorway... And get to these service points. That should be quite good. So we only have the small one available right now. Which is a bit rubbish. It's not exactly fantastic. 
But it's something, isn't it? So for now, we're going to stick it in here, right next to the junction. I know it's not the most fantastic thing uh, that you've ever seen uh, in terms of a service point. And we are actually going to go with a few trams around this region. But we're not going to go with a huge amount. So we're going to go... I'm thinking in terms of the look. This is a tropical area, so I do quite like the idea of the trams. Uh, trolley bus, trolley bus or trams? I think trolley bus actually might be a good idea for this region. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring this all the way across to start with. Wait. That's 90, surely. That might be the wrong place. <laughs> But I don't actually know. Um, so we'll bring that across to start with. Then we're just going to zone in these regions. It's going to be very blocky, like I say. But we're going to have a couple of nice larger avenues coming down the middle here. And we might have to upgrade some of those roads on the outside there. But yeah, looking good already, I would say. Let's see how these roads fit in then. Let's get the sandstone... Can we get the smaller sandstone, please? The smaller one. And let's go with the uh, the trees in there. Uh, and we can kind of zone them differently depending on, you know, the side. We'll probably try and mix it up a little bit so it's not all the same. Exactly the same. Uh, and I don't mind putting all these crosswalks down here because hopefully there won't be too much walking going on. Well, that fit in quite nicely, didn't it? Let's see whether they fit nicely this way as well. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. And then in the middle, we're going to have all our parks and all that sort of thing. They don't fit quite as nicely this way. But this can be an area for unique buildings, services. Well, we can't put services on this road, actually. Uh, but unique buildings, services, that sort of thing. Uh, we can have a look at that. And we're going to outline this whole region with tram tracks. And, yeah, I think this can be the parks down this side. We can have some unique buildings in there. So let's go with this one. Straight in there. Bang, bang. And I think this side will go with three, if I can actually fit that guy in. There we are. That's better. Doesn't like going there for some reason. <laughs> but I think three is good. And yeah, let's uh, let's think about what else we want to do with the area. Do we want to put parks, that sort of thing? We need to actually zone up the area, get a few more people in the area to start with. And we really need to be conscious of public transport for this region. Uh, so let's get back to our roads and let's design this to be an actual tram road as well. And then we can finally get some public transport in this place. Um... Yeah, I don't want the trolley bus with bike lanes. I want the tram with bike lanes, ideally. Four-lane road with bicycle lanes and tram tracks. Now, the bicycle lanes are down the side, and the tram tracks are in the middle. What about this one? Yeah, I think that's the option we want to go for. Unfortunately, we lose a few of the trees. But that's fine. Get that there. Bring this up all the way. I didn't mean to do that. Come on. Don't be silly, game. Don't be silly. It was a small one, wasn't it? Not the big roads. So let's go with the small ones again. Median trees. I do really like the look of these median trees. Uh, and then we want to do the same down this way, don't we? Let's get these. Let's not drag it this time in case. <laughs> and let's come up here. And for now, we'll leave that unconnected on that end. But yeah, Florence pedestrian area looking very nice indeed to start with. So let's see what we can do here in terms of... Do we have any parks available right now? I actually doubt it. Yeah, I was going to say pedestrian parks. Uh, we've got the pedestrian sort of area plazas in here. Actually, we've unlocked a few. So let's get a couple of these nice little parks in here. We've got a lot of money, so I'm not too worried about, you know, spending uh, too much money right now. And down this central avenue, where we've got a lot of space on this side, we really want to have a look at trying to fill that area in. Got a nice few detailing options. Don't worry, guys, about 
If some of the things are not looking too great, don't worry. We will go back to detailing at some point. Uh, but yeah, I do really like these little parks. They are very nice indeed. So let's uh, stick one down here in the corner. Also want a lot of parking on the way to here. We've got a small food truck plaza. Let's get that in. And down here as well. And potentially this small fountain plaza. And there. And then let's have a look at doing what we can with parking. Where is the parking again? I always forget where the parking is. And I think, honestly, as soon as they come across, straight in there, bang. Big parking uh, garage. Same thing on this side. So if people want to get out of there. I reckon down in the middle here as well to fill up a little bit of space. So a lot of parking coming into the area. Same thing potentially over here. Let's uh, let's go bang another. That's actually pointless. It, they can't get on there. So <laughs> got to be careful of that. Let's go straight with the parking there then. Right in that middle section. And let's uh, make sure we've got all our utilities. Everything like that. And this time... Let's actually try and be good <laughs> with the utilities and actually utilize it properly rather than just doing some crazy uh, things that we've done in the past. Oh, kind of screwed up that one. That's fine. And, uh, yeah, let's come down to here. All the way up. And actually connect these in properly for once. Now, we're going to need some power ASAP. And what I'm thinking is, in terms of the parking, you know, residential people coming from the motorway, what would I prefer? Would I prefer offices and commercial down this side or living on, or offices down this side and living on the other side? Now, I really actually don't know. Hey, so why can they not connect in there? Are they too, uh, too right-angled? But no, they can connect there. So why would they not connect there? I mean, they connect there, there. That's very strange. We'll, we'll work that out eventually. But what I am thinking is let's get our first offices then, guys. We do have a lot of industrial demand right now. And actually, let's make sure we zone this area first. <laughs> Uh, can we change things in here? So let's go wall to wall. Let's go wall to wall. And we are going to make this all wall to wall buildings, guys. Some of my favorite vanilla assets in the game are the wall to wall buildings. I think they look absolutely stunning, to be honest. I think they look absolutely fantastic. So really nice to see those in there. Now, it doesn't really matter what zone you put this residential on. It's fine. It will be the same no matter what because it's wall-to-wall -wall building. So, But we'll put it on high density anyway uh, in there. And then I'm potentially thinking maybe a little commercial in the middle here. So let's get that all done there. Commercial in. And that should hopefully help out with a few people coming in. And also with our, uh, with our demand, do have a few dead bodies going around. Let's, uh, let's sort that out. We still only have access to this, which is not great. But we could actually go right next to the car park. <laughs> uh, that's not the area for a graveyard, is it? It doesn't really fit in that region. So right next to the school, graveyard, there you are. From birth to death. It's a quick journey in this town. But anyway... <laughs> Let's press play and let's see what happens. See whether we can fill this area in. And see what pops up because they are very nice buildings, guys. Honestly. So here we are, guys. We've had a few pop in. And I'm thinking to avoid this issue, let's just go with the standard road down the middle. So it's a little bit of a, a road. I've also greatly reduced the size 
of the area for now because it was costing us 15,000 a turn. I told you they cost a lot of cash. Uh, so, yeah. I think we just go with the standard road down the middle. Now, in the middle here, this is where we're going to have our public transport uh, and also potentially build a nice little transport hub right in the middle here um, that can run out and around. And I'm, I'm genuinely considering having a tram line that goes from the center here down here. It'd be nice if we could go across the bridge with it, but unfortunately I don't think if we destroy that you can see it's a completely different type of bridge. But I don't mind it as a bridge, honestly. Um, and let's have a look. We've got a four-lane road in there. So what I'm thinking is we come... We could go up and round here as the final destination. And people can stop off there. I think that would be a nice little idea. So let's have a look. What do we have available to us in terms of... Do we have bike lanes? I don't want trolley bus. I want tram. Tram, tram, tram. With median, tram tracks, and bicycle lanes. I'd prefer no median, honestly. Two-lane road with tram tracks. I mean, no median and bicycle lanes would be great. Uh, but I doubt it, unfortunately. Uh, those are all... Yeah, trolleybus. Yeah, I, just, I don't think we've got it. I'm going to press on the one with the bike tracks as well. We do have the four-lane road with tram tracks. Uh, and honestly, this doesn't have bike lanes anyway, so that's fine. Let's upgrade all of this then. Now, it might not be great for some of the residential people around here, but it's certainly going to be great for our people moving to and from this area. Uh, and they will be able to get from here. So pretty much, you know, from anywhere in this suburban area up into this area and we're also going to have a look at building in a little tram track that comes down to the industrial zone so we're fully connected with trams and then when we unlock this railway we can then bring the railway into here as well and be fully connected with the outside world so yeah quite looking forward to that one um and let's see what do we want to do in terms of the tram track the, uh, the tram track Though, I'm thinking we go somewhere... Is that the middle? Let's go, like, something... Like this. Oh, that's a bit ugly, isn't it? It's a little bit ugly. <laughs> uh, there we are. Distance too short. Come on, vanilla. Don't be a silly one, vanilla. Don't give me pain today. But anyway, um, let's have a look then. What do we have available to us for the big trames? So, yes, trolleybus, tram. Here we are. Standard tram depot. I saw some huge roads on here now, aren't there? In terms of vanilla. I mean, they've got the, uh, they've got the pedestrian street ones, but honestly... I don't get why that won't connect in. I mean, it's coming from the big road here, so it might not be too bad having that as a connector in there anyway as a normal road. So we've also not put any paths in here, but there's not too many that I want to put in. Probably just ones going straight across. Maybe a couple one, 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 one. Yep, that sounds about right. So let's, uh, let's have a go at sticking this in there as well. So it's a bit rubbish that it's no longer... A pedestrian road. Well, that's not a problem. The rest of this area is a nice pedestrian area. Dr cars can drive around the outside, uh, but not so much through the middle. Let's also make sure that this is now a just a standard sandstone one, which is great. There we go. Really nice, the sandstone. These types of roads can't be connected kidding me, my friend. Uh, these types of roads cannot, cannot be connected. Is it because that's so small? Well, let's, uh, let's make sure we just put a small one in there, then. 
It might work with a small one, hopefully. Uh, it'll just look a bit silly, that's the only thing. These types of roads cannot be connected. Why? <laughs> Why? I mean, they can connect in here. That's very weird. I've not seen that before. Well, we can just put a path. It's a pedestrian zone anyway, isn't it? So let's uh, let's make sure we're just going with the standard path on this one. And it's all going to be straight lines, of course. We're going to go straight across there. Then let's have a look at what we want to do over this way. We'll go straight through. Straight through. I'm sorry, houses. I know you've just built, but it's fine. I run this city. Uh, so... Let's go here. Let's go here. Stick all these in. I think the other side doesn't really need them particularly. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really need them, does it? Uh, I don't know. I, I like having paths going through, so let's do it. Nice bit of extra pedestrian zone for these guys. Right past the, uh, the park, which will add a few extra people into the park there. And there we are, straight into the middle. And I think definitely we want ones in here if we can, connecting across. The reason why I'm doing it in such a weird way there is because I thought that would be a bit too short, but apparently not. So let's get that in there. Then let's get our trams. Our trams. Our glorious little trams. Few issues with the noise pollution, but that's fine. Uh, tram depot in there. We can also build something else in here. Probably a nice little, uh, well, whatever. We'll, we'll find out what we want. If we can need to move this, that's no problem whatsoever. Uh, and let's have a look at building in some lines then. Finally, some public transport in this place. Now, in terms of lines, let's create a new line. We're going to have different stops around this region so they don't get too bogged down. I mean, honestly, we could even put lines going straight through the middle that are only trams. I think that's a good idea, actually. Let's go, yeah, just a standard tram track. Now, this might be a bit too much for the game to deal with. But <laughs> I don't think it'll be that bad. <laughs> what can go wrong with vanilla, my friends? Absolutely nothing. Let's literally have... Let's literally just have two stops on this. No other stops. This is just a shuttle between the sports ground and home. So if you come back there, yeah, fantastic. And then when we've got all this done, we can uh, start building ones around the edges. But for now, let's do a clockwise and a counterclockwise. So one there as well. One right by the car parking spot. Definitely a good idea. By the bridge. One by that car park. One around the corner. Let's put one just around the corner by that car park. And yeah, they're a bit uneven, but it's fine. There. 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 Final one in there. Let's do that one. And let's just do, let's just mirror it on the other side. This way. So yeah, a nice little new area we've got. And that should really honestly start absolutely Popping our population up. As you can see, 8,800 now. I know that doesn't seem too much, but as soon as this gets rolling, it's going to be really, really fun. Uh, now we are investing in our public services quite a bit. I'm not going to put another one on that corner. So let's have a look at our trams. Let's go with red for you. And let's go with a different type of red for you. Let's go with like dark red for you. Ah, no, you're completely different, so let's go green. Then you get the sort of pinky. Let's go light pink. There we are. And this one is, what is that? That is counterclockwise. CCW South. You are, come on. I don't know why it does that sometimes. It's a bit annoying, isn't it? And then green, let's go shuttle. And this one... God damn it! <laughs> and then let's this one, let's go with clockwise south. 
Saying south because it's the lower, uh, the riverside one. Slightly lower. Don't actually know which way south is. South would be this side, wouldn't it? But that's fine. <laughs> and let's see them jump out of the station. And guys, I think we're going to have a nice little bit of of extra sort of uh, cinematics here. But I think we'll end it there, guys. We've done a nice little job. Uh, we've got to get some extra power into here. Hopefully, it can jump across at some point. Could even just stick a park slash plaza in there. Another another one of those. Let's see. What do, what do we have available to us? Could get that. That's always a nice one to have, isn't it? And let's stick it in, in there. That should jump the power across now. They should all have power. Fantastic. And let's go for a little journey, shall we, guys? Let's go for a little journey. But if you have enjoyed, guys, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.